Hi guys, it's me Emily and welcome back to my channel. So when I went to go and edit this video, I realized I didn't have an intro slide, so that's what this is. Today's video is just going to be... <laughs> I'm gonna use this in the video. <laughs> we can start over. No, I'm using this one. Today's video is going to basically be an Amazon haul. These are all the items that I have been purchasing off of Amazon. Um, that I've been loving during this quarantine time things just to get me by and to make me happy um, I have a wide variety of things some are more for work some are for beauty and some are just for more of a creative mind what I'm doing So I thought I'd just give you guys a little bit of insight of what I've been um, Purchasing I will link everything down below. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So first things first, I bought, so I had one of those headbands that you use when you put on makeup. My sister got it for me for Christmas a few years ago and I couldn't find it for the longest time so I thought it must have gotten thrown out or something so I bought more and then I found it. Um, but I bought these, they're like these cute little headbands, they got little bows on them. They are ridiculously soft um, and there's six of them all different colors they're super cute super adorable um i'll have to find out i'll link it down below how much they were i don't think for a pack of six it was that much um but i don't want to guess um but i love how they look i love this black and white one but I... and then with that they actually came i think they came with this or i bought it i don't remember but they have these two spatulas they're just like rubber spatulas and I like these because when I'm using a face mask, um, I don't like to use my fingers and I don't want to use my makeup brushes. Um, so these are, I think, just silicone. They look like this. They're super durable, super flexible, and they're cute. Um, so I'll probably keep one in my bathroom and then I'll probably use one for more of like my makeup look, or my, not my makeup, but my Halloween looks, because this could actually be really good for putting on um, like face paint. So the next thing I got are these. You guys have probably heard a lot of people talking about these blue light glasses. And I've been using them for a few days. They're a little big on me, but I, I don't really care about that. I can't tell a difference quite yet, but I mean, as far as I know, my eyes aren't like straining. And at night when I'm sitting in bed and I'm wearing these, I did last night, um, I actually didn't find it as hard to fall asleep. Like my eyes weren't hurting. And if that makes any sense, I don't know. But I like them. Again, I'll link them down below. Uh, I've heard a ton of people talking about them, so I want to try them. And as of right now, I kind of like them. So when I do my makeup looks, like my Halloween makeup looks, I use the brand Mayron, Maron. Um, and I did a look of Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. And I had such a hard time because I didn't have green face paint, so I had to put white face paint on which got kind of splashy and then I had to put green eyeshadow on to make it work and I got so tired and fed up with it so I bought the Maroon Makeup Palette and it has all these just like basic new um, like your primary colors basically it kind of looks chalky I think this might be like a water based yeah, it's a water activated, so that's kind of why it looks chalky. So that kind of makes sense. Um, which is actually not what I wanted. I didn't want a water activated face paint um, because it dries so quickly. I kind of just wanted one that was just like a regular face paint. So I might end up returning this and getting what I actually wanted. So I got a few things of um, like makeup removing wipes, or not wipes, but um, like cloths. Um, this is the Always Off Makeup Cloth. And there's a pack of three. I have never really been a fan of like makeup removing cloths because I feel like, I don't know, sometimes I've tried ones and they've left like fuzzies on my face, which is kind of gross. Um, but lately I've just been using like a washcloth, which works. But I wanted something dedicated to just removing my makeup because when I, like I keep mentioning, when I do a lot of like Halloween or costume makeup looks, um, I don't want to ruin my good or even just like rag washcloths. I'd rather have something dedicated to it. So these are the microfiber ones. 
microfiber um, cloths, three pack. I don't know, I've never heard of the brand. Again, it's from Amazon, so we'll see. And then I bought these, like, um, these are for re reusable makeup wipes for your eyes. And again, I've been using like um, disposable cloths, but I wanted something again, a little dedicated more for my eyes and something reusable. Oops. And what's cute is that it came with a bag, which I like. So you can just throw them in here and then you can wash them. So it's a pack of six and they're purple, which is cute. And it's got like a little hand pouch so you can just easily like wipe off your makeup. And I really like those. And they're easier to travel with rather than, because I don't use makeup wipes on my eyes. I feel like they're a little harsh. So I have a certain um, makeup remover that I use by Rodan and Fields, which I can link down below because I feel like it's probably the best and really gentle. But I'd rather just carry one of these, rinse it off and wash it and keep using it every day rather than using those tiny little cloths that you can buy um, and then throwing them away because I feel like you go through way more of those than you probably should. And then I bought something I really didn't need but I've had a lot of troubles with my hair lately. I've had several alopecia spots, um, so like balding spots where I completely lose my hair. So I'm trying to be a little more gentle on my hair and like what I put in it I'm very mindful of and how I'm brushing it I'm just trying to be a little more careful. Um, my hair spots are growing back but I recently found another one so now I have to go and get this like a whole big thing. Um, but there are shots that you can get to help it grow back. But I read a long time ago that using like a t-shirt like a cotton t-shirt helps your hair, especially when you have really curly hair like mine. Um, so I bought these comfortable, cute hair drying caps. I was about to say something else. Um, they are made in China, um, so I will have to wash them. But they look like this. And basically you just put it over your head, you wrap it, and then it goes like this kind of thing. Um, and it's super soft, which I think will really help my curls because, yeah, I can buy certain towels for it, but why not have something dedicated specifically for your hair care? So it came in two little colors. I'll have to wash them um, before I actually use them, and I'll let you guys know how they feel. Maybe I'll insert, like, a little clip of me using it after my shower later and kind of let you know how I like it. So one other thing that I bought, I bought most of the makeup stuff I bought was mostly for when I am doing um, like costume makeup and stuff like that. So I just bought a five pack of beauty blenders. They're like a really cheap kind by Beakley, I think. Yeah, Beakley. Um, they're actually really soft and squishy, which I like rather than using my like expensive beauty blender ones or um, the Eco Tool ones. So I just wanted like a brand that I wouldn't mind getting stained with um, different color face paints or anything like that. Something cheap that I can throw just in my Halloween makeup kit that I use all the time. Um, they come in a five pack, they're super cute. And this way I don't, again, have to ruin my good beauty blenders, which I actually already have. One of them is stained completely green and one of them is stained red, I believe. So I got, so, I got this, it's an adult coloring book, it's The World of Flowers, um, and the book's super cute, if you can see that. I've kind of started in on it. Um, I was watching Jacqueline Hill's Insta stories, and she has like a crap ton of these, but I used to love using like coloring books and adult coloring books when I was younger, like in high school. It really helped me with like my depression and my stress. Um, but then I just stopped and I got more into poetry and stuff like that. But during this quarantine, I kind of had like a little moment of I feel incredibly bored or like I'm not doing anything because it was like a very repetitive day after day after day doing the same thing. So I wanted to buy something just to kind of help break up my day or even like at night just to kind of settle my mind from what we've been doing all day or the craziness or if Henry's been acting up. 
and kind of go tuck myself away and just color in here a little bit. Um, I have this bookmark. This is what I've been starting on. I don't do it like a lot or every single day. It's kind of just more for when I'm needing a chain or needing to just relax and wind down and just go into another place. So I bought one of those and then I originally bought these dual tip brush pens, these 60 colors. Um, but I do not like them, I have decided. I've never really been like a big um, brush pen type of person when I'm coloring. I'm trying to get one out. So one end is like this, which is great. And then the other one is more fine tipped, like this. I mean, it works and they're beautiful colors. Um, but also when I bought it, like some of them didn't work and a lot of them, like they like bled through the paper and I don't know, I was having like a hard time with it. And then I kind of was like having a meltdown because I bought this whole thing and I bought the coloring book and I bought the pens because I wanted to relax and this is not relaxing. So I kind of had like a little bit of a panic, but I was just like, chill out and just buy some colored pencils. So that's kind of what I did. And I got these 102 colored pencils by Zena Color. Looks like this, it's a really pretty box. And, and the box kind of got damaged, but I don't really care about that. And these are all the colors that come in it. Like there's so many colors. And I'll just try and show you, I don't wanna have them fall all out. Um, but I much rather use colored pencils. I feel like they just look better and I can do more shading with them. Uh, they kinda look like that. They're super cool. And there's a lot of them and I love them. I'm debating actually just taking them out of the package and just throwing them in a tin. <laughs> like I'm not organized with my colored pencils at all. But I like these a lot better because I have more control over these. The brush tip, like, if it was like more of a stiff tip, then that'd be great because I have more control over it, but I didn't and it got everywhere and it was just a mess. Um, so I got the colored pencils. I absolutely love them. And not only can I use them, but then Henry can use them, which, you know, multi-purpose that I have an actual reason for buying these things. And my husband can't be like, well, you didn't need them, but then I can just be like, well, Henry needed them, and then it's okay. All right, guys, and that is it for my little Amazon haul. Um, I like to think that I have reasons for buying everything, but I probably don't, but you know what, that's okay. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be sure to link everything that I bought down below so you guys can check it out. Um, and maybe I'll insert a few clips, or I probably already have, I don't know, of me kind of testing out a few of the things, um, like the hair wraps and maybe the makeup removing cloths and stuff like that. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to subscribe, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.